Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I just thought I'd do a quick showdown between the Honor Pad X9 and the Redmi Pad C. So we're going to be comparing the two tablets so you can see which one better suits your needs. So let's start with the design and build quality. The Honor Pad X9 weighs 495 grams and we can see here that it's quite a compact, slim tablet and it has a glass front and aluminium frame and back and the Redmi Pad SE weighs 478 grams and also offers a glass front and aluminium frame and back. The Honor Pad X9 has a screen to body ratio of 84.1% whereas the Redmi Pad SE has 84.4% so both are closely matched regarding bezel sizes. Moving on to the displays, the Honor Pad X9 sports an 11.5 inch TFT IPS screen which is a bit confusing as those are specs by Honor themselves but I feel like this is an IPS screen and it has a 120Hz refresh rate. This means obviously smoother scrolling, fluid animations and a better overall enhanced visual experience. In contrast, the Redmi Pad SE has an 11 inch IPS LCD display with a respectable 90Hz refresh rate. Both offer impressive visuals but the Honor Pad X9 has a slight edge in terms of screen smoothness and both tablets support wide wine level 1 so you'll get full HD streaming and neither tablet has a dedicated stylus support but universal styluses can be used. So for performance under the hood, the Honor Pad X9 runs on Android 13 with Magic OS 7.1 and is powered by the Snapdragon 685 chipset which is an octa-core CPU paired with an Adreno 610 GPU. On the other hand, the Redmi Pad SE also runs on Android 13 with MIUI Pad 14 and is equipped with the Snapdragon 684G chip along with the same Adreno 610 GPU. So both tablets are well equipped for smooth multitasking, casual gaming and productivity. For memory and storage, the Honor Pad X9 offers 128GB of internal storage paired with 4GB of RAM. In comparison, the Redmi Pad SE provides more versatility with the options with 4GB, 6GB or 8GB of RAM, all backed by 128GB of internal storage. Having these RAM options can be a significant advantage if you need extra performance for demanding tasks. For cameras, the Honor Pad X9 features a 5 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel selfie camera, both capable of recording 1080p video. In contrast, the Redmi Pad SE steps up the photography game with an 8 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel ultra wide selfie camera. So, tablet photography. if tablet photography or video conferencing is a priority for you, the Redmi Pad SE might have the upper hand in this department. Audio quality, both tablets come equipped with stereo speakers for an immersive audio experience. The Honor Pad X9 boasts an impressive six speakers, providing a rich and dynamic sound profile tuned by Honor Hisson. And the Redmi Pad SE features four speakers, which support Dolby Atmos and high-res audio, but it may not match the audio quality of Honor Pad X9, whereas obviously you've got two extra more speakers. Wait until night Jerry reads about this. For battery life, the Honor Pad X9 is equipped with 7250 mAh non-removable battery, while the Redmi Pad SE packs a slightly larger 8000 mAh non-removable battery, so Redmi Pad SE has a slight advantage in battery capacity which could translate into longer usage on a single charge. In conclusion, both the Honor Pad X9 and Redmi Pad SE offer compelling features and design. The Honor Pad X9 shines with its high refresh display and abundant speakers making it a great choice for media consumption and gaming. Meanwhile, the Redmi Pad SE offers more RAM options, a headphone jack and impressive camera setup catering to those who prioritise vers versatility and photography. Your choice between these tablets ultimately depends on your specific needs and preferences. 
which matters most to you. Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more tech content and hit that notification bell. Thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.